Hi, welcome to 2016 Abhipedia Mains Question Answer Discussion. Today we are taking up the ethical issue of emotional intelligence and how it has both a darker and a brighter side. So ma'am, what is emotional intelligence first of all? Uh, Abhishek, emotional intelligence basically is first of all the ability to perceive, assess and understand and then interpret the emotions of others as well as your own emotions. So that's like two players are involved here. Okay. Your own emotions also are equally important. You need to assess and interpret and perceive them and the other party's emotions as well. Okay. And uh, you can utilize the other party's emotion for your own benefit? Of course. Why yeah. not? And that utilization I've seen has happened in both manners, good and bad. Okay. That is why the darker side of emotional intelligence has also been into the limelight since 2014. Mm -hmm. huh? So, uh, sir, how would you like to elaborate upon the international aspects of this darker side of emotional intelligence? Sir, in context of international relations, uh, the example of China would be a befitting uh, example in this regard. Okay. Now, the political dispensations, uh, when elections are held in Pakistan, mm. the political parties play upon the uh, Kashmir issue there mm. and uh, make it an agenda there to win elections. Yeah. So, that perpetuates uh, the Kashmir issue. Mm. Because the population in uh, Pakistan is also, uh, you know, always motivated towards moving into that emotional ground. And that is always taken, uh, what you can say, uh, capitalized upon by China and yes. other elitists in right, the sir. Pakistan themselves. Okay. And uh, apart from that, any other example you like and, to And uh, after 1962 war with China, okay. uh, China wanted an ally in South Asia against India. So they realized that India and, China, uh, India and Pakistan are blood brothers who have allergy with each other. Mm. So they, uh, so they uh, had established good relations with them, mm -hmm. gang up, mm. ganged up against India. Mm. And since Hindi then, Chini, bye bye yeah. and then and since then they have been uh, uh, trying to box India and South Asia. Okay. So in a way, we see that politics and uh, the people that they are serving, in, in that deciding who gets what, when and where, emotional intelligence is utilized mostly to capitalize upon people's emotion for government's own benefit. Correct. Yes. And especially even within the government as seen from the Edward Snowden leak that we had uh, seen, you know, in that also it highlights that uh, government is utilizing some of the issues like security mm -hmm. to breach into people's right. life, you know. So this is like telling them that I am trying to make you more secure, but at the same time scaring them like uh, through intervention, you know. And this was an international issue back in the day. So how would you like to elaborate upon the darker side of emotional intelligence versus the lighter side or brighter side? Okay, well, uh, brighter side, Abhishek, uh, point is brighter side of emotional intelligence, which in the 1990s, ke decades, ke baad, kafi highlighted work, kafi importance in the limelight. That's why because earlier, this was thought that fine, uh, intelligence ho kisi bhi ke paas, any individual who is intelligent enough to understand and such the situation, that would be suffice or that can row the person in the journey called life. Similar is the case with civil services as well. Pehle mm -hmm. aisa hota tha ki fine, koi bhi, uh, civil servant, intelligent ho, mm -hmm. fine, kaam chal jata tha. But then in kafi sari application part pe, kafi sari aise gaps aaye, kafi mm -hmm. sari aise issues aaye, jo ki ek simple intelligent civil servant ke paas itna equipment, itna equipment nahi tha, ki un issues ko, un problems ko solve kar sake. Mm -hmm. Complexities of life badi, situational issues aaye, mm -hmm. uh, logo ka temperament bhi change hua, to mm -hmm. simple intelligent civil servant was no longer successful in handling and taking care of uh, 360 degrees issues jo ki okay. aaye surface pe. Okay. To emotional intelligence aaya, importance okay. hua, and then it was like ki intelligence ke saath saath aapko EI, that is emotional intelligence bhi chahiye. Okay. So, right? IQ or EQ do no ek balanced equation bane. Correct, okay. correct, correct. And uh, let me tell you, when I say EQ, I don't mean you think from the heart. Okay. You know, jaise usually uh, ye socha jata hai ki IQ is a uh, head part and mm. EQ is heart. Mm. EQ is uh, a very fine balance of head and heart. Okay. It's like the head and the heart moving together hand in hand. Okay. Right, so that is what EQ is. Okay. So, uske baad, ab jaise recent 2014, 2013 onwards, iski mm. darker side kafi uh, prominent ho gai hai. Wo isliye mm. because ab new evidences, new researches in a uh, lot of foreign universities, they mm. have shown ki what happens is when you are the master 
when you can uh, first of all assess and assess your own emotions the emotions read the emotions of the other person then you are master and then probably you can very easily manipulate not only your own emotions mm. you can wear in a mask of not only on your own self on your own true personality but also you can land up manipulating as whatever you want in mm. the emotions of other person okay so ye iski darker side abhi aayi hai uh, okay. you can say research and i guess the person considering mostly the case studies correct he must be mentioning such darker side also because this will be a good mark for him you know correct 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 exactly because uh, bachche abhi tak uh, yahi uh, for instance i have been checking uh, answer sheets to yahi notice kara gaya hai ki sir sirf uh, emotional intelligence ka utility likhte hain mm-hmm. ki this is important because of mm-hmm. this this and all that Practical darker application. side nahi likhte hain iski okay. because ye bahut ek uh, this is like a very neutral tool mm-hmm. isko aap positively bhi use kar sakte hain but mm-hmm. obviously agar aapke kuch aur waise interest hai to ye negatively bahut comfortably use हो सकता है ओके okay. को ध्यान में रखना चाहिए एंड मोर सो फ्रॉम एन एथिक्स परस्पेक्टिव लेट मी टेल यू इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस जैसे हम लोग बोलते हैं कि स्कूल में इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस बच्चे के अंदर डालनी चाहिए या बच्चे को उस तरह की स्किल सेट भी इम्प्रूव करनी चाहिए जब जैसे स्टूडेंट ग्रो अप कर रहा है या जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल हम लोग इंडिविजुअल्स हैं कि हमारी इमोशनल साइड भी यू कैन से वेल डेवलप्ड होनी चाहिए लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग वेरी ऑनेस्टली इट इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट कि इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस डेवलप करने के साथ साथ वी हैव टू मेक श्योर कि उस व्यक्ति की उस इंसान की वैल्यूज और मॉरल सिस्टम्स क्या हैं अदरवाइज वही होगा मैनिकुलेशन इन्वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट सो यू हैव टू मेक श्योर कि इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस जिस बेड में आप रूट uh, कर रहे हैं जिस बेड okay. में आप uh, उस सीट को लगा रहे हैं वो जो बेड है उसकी वैल्यूज और उस बेड की इमोशन यू कैन से वैल्यूज एंड मॉरल्स एंड एथिक्स बहुत स्ट्रांग हो तभी वो एग्जैक्टली exactly, तभी वो पेड़ एक स्वस्थ इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस का पेड़ आएगा अदरवाइज वो गलत हो सकती है वेरी राइट वेरी राइट आई थिंक दैट शुड समराइज यू थैंक यू